everybody. Welcome to the White House. Yes. How many of you have been here before? Yeah, I see my familiar faces. What's going on? How was summer? How's the start? Of, how was, how was uh, winter break? How was Christmas? I haven't seen you in a while. Huh? Was it good? Yes. You ready to work? Yes. How are all my new faces? Let me see the new people. See some hands. It's good to have you. Welcome. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming here. I wanted to start by thanking a couple of people besides you all, right? Okay, the first, I want to thank the President's Cabinet members who are here today with me, Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary Vilsack, this gentleman to my right, and the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Secretary Sebelius. Hi, everybody. They have done so much to help us get Let's Move campaign going, and I am so grateful for their support. Some of you have seen these guys around. You've seen Secretary Vilsack. He's been at stuff with us, so they've been really helpful. And I also have to thank Melody Barnes. Is Melody here? Melody's coming, but Melody's also been a big help. She's the President's Domestic Policy Advisor, and she's chair of the Childhood Obesity Task Force, so she's been a big help. And I also want to thank somebody special who's with us today, and that's Christy Vilsack, who is Secretary Vilsack's wife. Raise your hand, Christy, so the kids can see you. I know that Christy's a really good cook, so she's going to really be excited about what we're going to plant because she'll really know what to do with all the stuff that we plant. And finally, I want to thank all of you, you guys. We've got our old familiar faces from Bancroft School who are here. Yay, elementary school, <laughs> Bancroft. And we also have students from Holland Meadows Elementary School. Hey, guys. Some of your classmates and some of you guys were part of helping us uh, get the first garden ready, right? You guys did all the hard work. And this year, we're ready to do it again. Can you believe it's been a whole year? You, can you believe it? <laughs> it's a whole year. You guys have grown so much. But I'm excited you guys are here. Just last year we began by getting, what did we do first? The first thing you did when you came here, what did we have to do? We had to get the soil ready. Because if you remember, this was all grass. And you remember we had to create those mounds because the soil wasn't really ready to plant. We didn't even know if it was going to grow anything. So you guys helped us get the soil ready, and then we came and we did what after the soil was ready? What do we do? What do we put in the ground? We put some seeds in and we put some buds in. Last year we did broccoli. What else did we plant? Sweet we did some sweet potatoes in the fall. What do we do in the spring? What were the, the vines that came up? Peas. We did some peas. Sam knows. Very good, Sam. <laughs> and we did, did some onions, and we did a bunch of herbs. Don't you remember we did chives and garlic and rosemary and all that good stuff? And for dessert, remember over there we planted all the berries. We had blueberries and raspberries and blackberries. Mm. And you guys remember the beehive that's right over there that's still there? We got good honey, and we used it to make a salad. So then we did all that and we watched it grow. And wasn't it amazing how it went from this to what? Do you remember what the garden looked like when we were tunneling through and planting? Everything was high. Everything gets to be about my height. So it is pretty exciting. So last October, with all the work that you guys did, you know what we were able to do? We harvested over 55 different kinds of healthy food. 55 in that little piece of dirt. 55. And you know how many pounds of fruits and vegetables we harvested. Can you guess? Give me a guess. What's your closest guess? Yes. No, nope, higher. What? 800, close. Higher. 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds wow. of food. Can you imagine that? That's pretty amazing. So we learned a lot about how fun gardening was, at least I did. I wasn't really a gardener, and I've had so much fun. No matter where you live or what age you are, you can grow stuff. And also, it's pretty fun being outside here with all of you guys. I look forward to being outside in the sun. It's getting a little hot now, but 
it's good digging in the dirt, getting a little dirty, getting dirt under your nails. Remember, we were pulling up those big leeks. What were those things we were pulling up? Some were potatoes, but you were pulling up something heavy. What were the big <laughs> root things we... The fennel. That's right. You remember the fennel that we pulled up? So there's nothing like watching tiny seeds grow into something amazing. But the thing is, and I don't know if you guys have been watching, but the garden was about more than just planting healthy food, right? Because we were able to feed not just the staff at the White House, but we provided food to people at homeless shelters. So we used that food to feed a lot of people. But we also began a conversation about getting kids and parents and teachers all across the country thinking about living healthy. So just think, the work that you did helped start a national and international conversation. You guys did it. Everybody is talking about that garden, not just here in Washington, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. And we've been able to start thinking about things like getting kids to try new foods that they've never tried, vegetables that they've never had. You guys have been helpful in getting your families to think more healthy about what they eat. Um, getting your communities to make different decisions. We've also even started talking to schools about how do we make your school lunches even more healthy, right? So everyone is really focused on this. We've even talked to the grocery manufacturers, the people that make the food, and they're trying to figure out how do they lower sugar and salt and fats in your food so that you get healthy. Everybody is really focused on this. Uh, so this has been great. And it's because of the work that all of you guys have done. Would you ever imagine that what you did last year would lead to all of this? Would you? Could you? And we're ready to do it again this year. Are we ready? Yeah. So we're going to get started this year with our new group of students. Because each of you has a garden in your school. Bancroft, you guys have a garden. And you're doing good work. And I got to go and visit your garden. You guys taught me some new things about planning. And we worked together. And I hope to visit your school again sometime this year or in the fall. And you guys from Holland Meadows, I got to visit your garden as well. You guys are doing some really cool stuff with education and figuring out how to tie your garden in with science and math and everything. How many of you guys from Holland Meadows work in your garden? How many people have? helped with the garden and that's probably why you're here so it's important for you all to know that with the power of what you're doing with gardening you've got the whole country talking about gardening and eating healthy so I am grateful to you all for the work that you've done you've done an excellent job and we couldn't do it I don't think anybody would have paid much attention to this garden if it weren't for you so I am so proud of you all for what you've done and we're ready to get started uh, again um, and as a result of your efforts, we started this big campaign called Let's Move, uh, where we're asking parents to get better information and make different decisions. We're working with athletes who are going to start trying to get you guys moving. We've asked you all to do your parts. We've asked you to make different choices. We've asked you to turn off the TV a little bit and get more exercise and play outside. Everybody is ready to do their part. So you guys have just been a great support to us here at the White House, and I'm looking so forward to starting this garden for the second year. And hopefully we can make some more changes. We can get more kids focused on eating healthy, and we can educate the whole country and maybe even the whole world. What do you think about that? Yes. All right. So now I'm going to turn it over to Secretary Sebelius. You're next. And then Secretary Vilsack's going to say a few things to welcome you guys, and then we're going to get going, okay? All right, so here's Secretary Sebelius. Well, thank you, and I'm so glad to be here. I told the First Lady that I wasn't here last year. I wasn't the Secretary of Health yet last year when That's you right. planted the garden, but I watched it from Kansas, which is where I was governor at the time. And in Kansas, there are lots of people who grow a lot of food, uh, but we all watched what was happening here at the White House with this special garden. So I saw you on television, and now it's really great to be with you in person. Um, you know, I was asked by the president to run a department where we look out for the health of everybody in the United States, but particularly the health of our kids. And one of the things that uh, the garden does is remind parents and kids about eating healthier foods. And we know that that makes you smarter. It makes you feel better. It, it 
will help you grow stronger. So first of all, I think we need a huge round of applause for the most famous vegetable gardener in the world, our first lady, Michelle Obama. Let's give her a... But I just want to tell you one thing that has happened, and a lot of it is to do with my friend here, Secretary Vilsack, and it's the kind of thing we're going to be thinking about. You know, not too long ago, in schools, they were not serving enough fruits and vegetables, but you know what was counted as a vegetable? Ketchup. Mm. Now, how many of you planted ketchup last year in the garden? Mm. You think ketchup grows from a seed and grows up? But it was counted as a vegetable, so it was okay in school cafeterias to say, okay, we won't have oranges or we won't have celery, we'll have ketchup instead. And ketchup tastes pretty good on some things, but ketchup has a lot of salt and a lot of sugar, and we know that that isn't so good for you. It, broccoli's better and vegetables are better. So thanks to Secretary Vilsack, schools are going to start to look at what they serve in cafeterias and make sure they're, again, more fruits and vegetables and not so much uh, the food that doesn't make kids healthy. We have an office that's downtown. Um, we don't have any grass around the office. We got a lot of sidewalks. I wanted to dig up the sidewalk and see if we could put our own garden in following Secretary Vilsack's example, but um, the D.C. city has said they didn't think that was a good idea. So instead, what we're going to do is actually have a much bigger farmer's market for all of our employees. So every day when people come to work and leave work, they'll be able to buy lots of fresh fruits and vegetables because it's a way that we can take your example and help spread it. Uh, but I'm delighted to be here today. I'm delighted to be invited by the First Lady to help plant the garden, to help be involved in the Let's Move campaign, and this is a big part of it. And Really pleased to be here with my friend, and I'm going to turn it over to the Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary Vilsack. Well, thanks very much. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to get outside of the office. First Lady, thank you very much. Uh, I got rid of my suit. I've got comfortable clothes. I'm excited to work in the garden with all of you. And this is an important, as the First Lady indicated, a very important garden. Uh, it really has spurred a lot of interest across the country. But you know, the president's not too far from here, and, and I think it's important for the president to know you're here. I'm sure he does, but I think it would be great if he could hear you. Uh -oh. uh, and so I, I, I want to do a little uh, cheer All right. for, uh, for some of the vegetables we're going to grow here. Uh, and, right. But I need your help. All right? Are you guys going to be willing to help me here? I mean, really excited. Are you really get ready to, to really cheer for tomatoes, for example? Can we say, yay, tomatoes? Come on now. Yay, tomato. Come on. Come on. I can't hear you. Bo, Bo is sitting on the balcony he, right there. You what, got it. You, re, you got it. Come on. Let's get active here. Yay, tomatoes. Yay, tomatoes. Much better. All right. How, what else are we growing here, Sam? Uh, carrots. Yay, carrots. Yay, carrots. Sam? Spinach. Yay, spinach. Yay. What else? Broccoli. Are we growing beets here, Sam? No, oh, no beets. Okay. Well, that's probably okay, right, from the president's perspective? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, listen, this is important work for, that you're about to do because not only are you going to help plant this garden, but you're also going to be physically active. And part of the First Lady's efforts is not only to, uh, to eat nutritiously, as, the, as the Secretary Sebelius indicated, we're going to try to improve the meals that you all have at schools. But we want you to be physically active. We want you to be outside doing this every day, not just a special occasion like today, but every day, at least 60 minutes a day being physically active. So, um, First Lady, I think it's really time for us to move to it's the garden. It's time. You guys ready? You ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. You guys are in your groups? 